Hey everyone, so welcome to this short video, hopefully short. Uh, this is a video how you can install Active Directory on Server 2016 Core. So I've got here DC1 2016, so that's a 2016 um, standard edition and Windows 10. All I've done on those two machines is um, install updates and install the systems. So what we're going to do, uh, first few things is rename the computer, set static IP address on the DC because it's going to be a DNS as well. And for that, it's a, it is highly recommended to have static IP address. Set DNS on the DC and the client, so on both the DC01-2016 and Windows01, sorry, Win 10-01 install the tools so we need to install the uh, management active directory services and create new forest domain then we'll add the computer windows 10 and install tools for <coughs> remote management so we can remotely manage it so this is all done via powershell because we have no management interface at the moment we can install the tools and do it that way graphically but i would not recommend it because it's fairly simple and it's good to learn some PowerShell commands because it makes your life easier. Cool, so let's get to it. So first things, let's log in into this bad boy and launch PowerShell. As you can see, I'm running under administrator by default. So first things first, what I'm going to do or what I'm doing is I'm mapping, I'm creating variables into, putting my <laughs> my addresses into variables. So IP address, that's going to be the new domain controller IP address, then DNS address for the domain controller. It needs to be localhost on its own. Then ethernet, I'll get the name of the adapter and I'll apply it here. Get DNS server addresses if you currently have any. Let's see if I do. I already add them into the command below. Those are my DNS that I'm using. So these are my two. Already add them. If you have whatever, just dot one dot one or, or something with ten, most likely, then you can add them here. Then I'm going to. So I'm creating. I currently have. A dynamic IP address you can see my DHCP server 1.1 so I'm going to assign a static IP address with a 255.255 mask and then add those DNS addresses cool so let's run this you can run them all at once so if I go IP config all again so I can see that my DNS server is the server itself and my IP address is dot 70. You can do it via net netsh net s h command as well, but this is the PowerShell way. But netsh can be a bit convoluted as well. So now we need to install the AD domain services. We actually don't need to install the DNS because we will be installing the domain with the DNS. So let's just do this. This will take a moment. Success, that's what you want to see. Restart not required, let's carry on. So the command is install ADDS forest, domain name test lab, lab .com, whatever you want, and install DNS, so that's why we didn't need the DNS domain net bios name is test lab so i'm just using without the last bit now you need to set a recovery administrator password keep this safe if you're doing production and confirm everything we want to restart after successful installation so this will install new forest, create all the objects, install DNS, um, primary domain, um, yes, correct, primary domain for the DNS, 
and reboot the server. Wonderful, that's been done. We will probably not need to connect. So let's try to do the second part on this guy. All the commands will be available in the description and my blog, so have a look. Okay, so we've got a command prompt, which we don't need. So let's open PowerShell in admin session. And we're going to send set the DNS server, again, the ethernet net adapter, and we apply the DNS servers that we get from the DNS um, server addresses, as well as our domain controller. I'm commenting this out because I already have it here, so I don't need it. Almost there. Chop, chop, chop. Perfect, let's confirm the settings. Oh my goodness, what am I typing? Perfect, so still DHCP, DNS 1.70, and the other ones as well. Perfect. So now let's rename this computer because my host name is just something random right now. Turn zero one and restart. Fantastic. <clears throat> now let's add it in onto into the domain. Okay, so let's put the credentials in. Quick restart. Now applying the policies. And we are in. This would log in, log us still into the existing domain or sorry, existing um, local account. So we have to choose other. Don't just type administrator because that will log you, try to log you in as local computer. You can see sign into Windows 10 01. So we need to put test lab backslash and the password. Perfect. We are in, we're in the domain. And if you want to manage this domain, with graphical interface, you can download the admin tools, RSIT, for your version of Windows. This is for 1709 and 1803 versions of Windows 10. So, um, sorry, details. So you've got a few versions, 1709, 1803, and then Windows Server 2016, and you have to choose your flavor, but a 64 or 32-bit version. You can also connect remotely to your domain controller. This is automatically enabled in Windows 2016, uh, Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10 in the domain. So if you use a command, enter ps session and then computer name, so you can either type in computer name as in DC01 2016 so that's what we're going to use. And this will connect us, as you can see. So if I go, who am I? I'll be administrator in test lab and host name will be DC01. So if I want to make any changes, I can do so. Although regarding admin tools, it's a bit harder if you're not used to it. So you can download the RSITs installed and you'll have all the tools from Active Directory, um, Site and Services, DNS. You'll be managed, you'll be able to manage any any of the services. Cool. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.